Hi, my name is Chetan Mehta. I'm a manufacturing engineering student, and I'm going to be giving you a tour of Penn College's machining labs. Our college is nearly 110 years old, and machining was one of our very first programs, so we have two really large manufacturing labs. This is the Larry A. Ward Machining Technology Center. Our introductory lab is 14,300 square feet, and our advanced lab is 11,300 square feet. Uh, we have nine faculty, all with industry experience, and 102 students in four programs. Uh, we offer a certificate, two associate's degrees, and a bachelor's degree in manufacturing engineering. And our classes adopt a one to nine format. That means for every hour of lecture, we have nine hours of time in the lab. And let me give you a tour of our lab and show you what we do. We take seven classes in the introductory shop, beginning with bench work and really quickly moving on to manual machining. Uh, we have 16 manual Bridgeport style mills, three horizontals, as well as drill presses, band saws. Um, and very quickly, we also move on to lathes. So we have 16 manual lathes. Uh, that includes American Term Masters, Acers, Romies. Um, and we get a lot of experience in all different materials in our introductory classes on these machines. The next step in our machine program are ProtoTrack K3s. We actually have 26 of these machines in our introductory lab. Uh, and these are two axis conversational mills. Um, and they're a really great transition from manual machining to CNC because you can operate them manually and then add in all the CNC elements that we then advance to later on in our degree. We also have 10 track CNC lathes, uh, track 1440s and 1630s. And similar to the K3s, these are also a transitional step uh, in our classes in the introductory lab. We have a recently renovated metrology lab, and that class begins with basic measuring instruments like micrometers. Um, and then throughout that class, we move on to optical comparators, hardness testers, and then at the end, it ends with our vision systems and coordinate measuring machine. This is our grinding and heat treatment area. Uh, we have 16 reciprocating surface grinders and one cylindrical, as well as a water jet. Um, so our students heat treat parts they made in their previous classes and turn them into useful shop items like sign bars, angle plates, stuff like that. Um, and the tightest tolerance they're asked to hold is 50 millionths of an inch. Um, this is our de new to us Detweiler micro water jet. Uh, this is a really unique machine. Uh, it's a water jet that's capable of holding tolerances of like plus or minus 10 microns. So we're really excited to teach our students a totally unique capability that no other school really has. At Penn College, we have four SODIC wire ADMs. Um, these are almost brand new machines. Uh, they have linear motors, scales on all axes, and our students get to spend a whole semester learning the ins and outs of precision wire work on these machines. We also have three sinkers, including a fourth axis SODIC sinker EDM, um, which is a really rare capability. This is our brand new Hardinge Bridgeport XR1000. Uh, we just took delivery of this machine yesterday. Um, it's a really capable machine, um, and we're really excited to start using it uh, soon. Uh, this machine we plan on using primarily for our Baja Club, which I'm going to show you next. So this is our brand new Baja room. Uh, Baja SAE is a collegiate design competition held by the Society of Automotive Engineers. Uh, and what we do is we design, build, manufacture a single seat racing UTV all here on campus. 90% uh, of this car we've made in this lab and the other lab uh, this year. Um, these are some of the parts that we've worked on for Baja. This is our gearbox, and this is uh, another part where we have in the works. But uh, we get to make really good use um, and show a good application of the knowledge that we learn in our classes. So this is kind of as close as you can get to real life uh, on the job machining without having a job. This is the Gene Haas Center for Innovative Manufacturing. Here we have 13 milling machines and 12 lathes, uh, including two Haas UMC 500 five axis machines. Uh, we also have a bunch of verticals um, from different, different manufacturers. This is our brand new Zoller presetter. Um, this will measure tool runout, tool length, all the data you could ever need for turning or milling tools. Uh, we have this hooked up with Ethernet IP to all of our machines here to send those offsets to all the machines. This is our connected computer lab. Uh, in this room, we do a lot of CNC programming and CAM programming. We have SolidCAM, MasterCAM, Fusion 360, SolidWorks, Inventor, uh, and AutoCAD. This is our new Haas ST20Y. It's a dual spindle lathe. Um, I'm really excited to add that capability to our college. It's our first dual spindle machine. It has live tools, so uh, it's really exciting. This is our track VMC7SI. 
Um, this is our first ever Siemens controlled machine. It has a top of the line Cinemeric One control. Uh, and I think it gives our students a really good balance with different controller experiences. Our introductory level class uses a lot of these tool room style milling machines and lathes. Um, and then they quickly advance onto larger machines like our VF2s, our track machines, our UMC 500s, and the larger lathes. This is our robotics and automation area. Uh, here our students are currently putting together new manufacturing cells using three new Kawasaki robots, ABB robots, fluid power, conveyors, and machines with automatic doors. This is our Beeler four slide NC machine. This is a CNC stamping, forming, rolling machine um, that takes a spool of material and using dyes converts it to a finished product. So that concludes the tour of our machining labs. Um, please come check us out. We give tours uh, and you can find out more information on our website. Also, if you want to see more about PCT Baja, you can check out our Instagram. Uh, thank you for watching.